Mom, the meatloaf. Welcome back. Grim Tutelage. Let me fix the camera just a little bit. That was quite a hefty table slap there. Uh, today we're going to get into a case. Not a whole case. We're going to do one box today. But this is uh, March of the Machines Collectors. Uh, all the big YouTubers and cool people have already pulled every serialized card out of it. So I think we're just basically looking for a monkey. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, it's two days before release, you guys. I'm a big YouTuber, okay? I got it. I got my stuff early, okay? I don't know about you peasants out there, but I got mine two days early. Huh. So, yeah. What box should we go with? What box should we go with? Obviously, I'm kidding. Let's go with this one. This one's got a whole bunch of extra weird shit on it. I'm going to open this one. I like it. Bam. It's number two. Let's go with number two. Oh, how you guys been? Did you guys open a serialized card? Watch this. Oh, we cheated. And I didn't even get through the plastic. Yeah, I didn't. Look, I didn't even get through it. I didn't even get through the plastic. Dude, that's how you know I'm a pro YouTuber. There it is. That one made some contact. I don't know what razor blade that is, but it needs to be changed. Like I said, it's a couple days before the actual release of this set. It's like the 19th of April or whatever. Um... There's been so many serialized cards spoiled that I don't even I can't even keep track of them. Someone's out there making a website, I'm sure. March of the Machines, Collectors, here we go. Pack one of box two. Really though, how you guys been? We flew past 920 subscribers. That was dope to see. These are impossible to open. Oh my god. Oh no, this is not good. Oh really, I'm gonna damage the shit out of these cards though, for real. I, 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 I thought the ones I already had were hard to open. Uh, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? I had to use a cheat sheet there. Uh, hopefully the next one, I don't have to destroy the packs. I was I was trying to be funny here for a second here, but like that that fucking sucked. All right, let's uh, let's get this out of there. Oh, and I bent the shit out of the thing. Look, see, this is why I don't want to do that. Look what happened. I bent the living shit out of this corner. I did that. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Um, I went to Command Fest this last weekend. It was pretty dope. It was my first MTG event. Uh, it was really fun. Mounted. Oh, smacking the camera with my hat. We gotta stop that bullshit. There could be serialized cards in here. We gotta be serious. Uh, first hit. It's gonna be Rowan's Talent. Nobody cares. Uh, Quintorius. That's cool. But yeah, Command Fest was dope. Met some cool people. Um, played some good games. And then, uh, you know... Got pub stomped for one of the last games we played. Absolutely pub stomped by like a, a dude had like $8,000 on the table by like, I don't know, turn three. And then he won the game. Hole breaker horror into a combo. Ridiculous. Uh, Jiru and Hazaret. I'm going to set that over here. Because that's a specialized foil. Fire Song Sunspeaker. And an elemental. Hey, the good news is that pack wasn't worth anything. But Command Fest was a fun time. There's a bunch of, a whole bunch of uh, vendors out there. Let's see if I can open this one. Oh no, what in the, oh Jesus, what is going on? These are extra glued. Uh, excuse me, can I get the collector packs with extra glue? Dude, really, I'm going to fucking damage the cards. Like, there we go. Jesus. I've seen people struggling, including myself, but these ones seem a little bit farther than the last ones. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, the, there was vendors. Uh, RK Post was there, and so was, um, oh God, Mark Teeden and Phil Foglio, and I'm forgetting, uh, her last name's Danner. She did Jeweled Lotus. I think it's Elena or Alyssa Danner. Ooh, tribute to the World Tree. I'm trying to figure out how to run that deck. Three green's kind of hard to pull off, though. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, it was a fun time. It was a good time. I'll go again next year. I think next year I'll get the all three day pass though see if i can't actually oh shit we got a serialized card wow uh renata called to the hunt this is probably like five bucks but that's cool i'll put it in the sleeve i was not expecting that at all um holy cow hold on hold on i gotta set this down everybody pause for the cause here oh man holy cow got a stack of cards that 
fell over. I gotta deal with that somehow before I grab this sleeve. I knocked him over with that huge case drop earlier, which I normally wouldn't do, but for some reason, if you put a bunch of product on the table, people seem to think you know what you're talking about. So that's what we did. Um, wow, a Renata. Serial number 102 out of 500. Well, that kind of sucks. So I, I think that's probably our serial for the case, and it's an uncommon. But hey, it doesn't really suck because I got a serial number card. That's the first one of those I've ever pulled. Uh, St. Traft and Rem Carolus. That'll start our mythic pile. I'm going to slide these on down here. Put the mythics in the middle there. And we get a Lutri, the Spell Chaser. I'm going to set those off to the side. That's wild. Fucking serialized card on the second pack. Uh, incubator. I lost track of what I was saying. That, that completely took over my head. Um, like, you know, is it really special? It's an uncommon. I don't think anybody asked for a Renata to be one of 500, you know? Oh, my goodness, dude. These are in fucking sane. There we go. But it's still a serialized card. Blowing my mind here. Uh, yep. That pack got destroyed too. It's a good thing the commons are only been getting bent, or I'd be pissed. Acre Drinker, the Branch Burner, and a Plains. I really like this Plains. I think this is one of the most uh, good looking lands that we've had in a long, long time. Um, I know it's not even really a Plains, but it's a cityscape, but it's cool. Invasion of Arcavios. Arcavios. Got another Rampaging Raptor here. Uh, what do we got? Vidalian, Vidalian Wave Knight? That's hard to say. A Merfolk Knight. Didn't think I'd live to see the day. Uh, Zara. Raph. Into the Fire. For an extended art foil. And a Lathiel. The Bounteous Dawn. Isn't that from the original Commander Legends? With a treasure token. Lathiel's from Commander Legends, right? Am I, am I wrong on that? Let's see if I can... Oh my fucking god, dude. What is the deal with these? There we go. I'm going to need a new pair of hands. Because these ones are too fucked up to open the packs. <laughs> Tranquil Cove. Mutagen. Okay. I just want to see a Skithrix in Icker. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I... Gliss is our first rare there. And then we get an Omnath, Locus of All. He's cool. Not even a Mythic, though. Um, but I, I want to see a Skithrix in the Icker. It'd be cool if it was, uh, you know, serialized. That'd be dope. But we don't have to have it serialized. Um, oh, my God. What did I do here? We have, uh, we've, we've completely ruined it. We have completely ruined it. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Too many piles, yo. Too many piles. Yep. Mythic. These go here. And you have your own pile. This goes here. Yep, too many piles, y'all. That's what it is. Uh, this Rayav looks cool. I don't think it's a Halo foil. It's just, uh, I don't know. I do see how that gets you, though. We're thinking that it's a Ragavan. I can see that for sure. Um, anyway. Losing trains of thought here. The ADD is acting up today, I'll tell you that. Obosh, wow, Halo foil too. That looks really cool. Not going to deny that one. That one looks pretty cool. In the Halo foil treatment there. That one does look cool. Are those worth anything, though? I don't even know. It's so hard to pay attention to what's going on. I just know that it's serialized or bust. So. Holy crap, dude. I don't want to damage these cards. There we go. I'm going to stop bitching about that. We're just going to struggle in silence. Y'all can watch that. Oh, boy. I'm going to go quiet for a minute. Try to recollect myself. I'm losing my mind. Losing my goddamn mind. Mission Impossible Swamp. Mission Impossible. See, I can't even remember that right. <laughs> it's Independence Day. What are you talking about? Uh, Boonbringer Valkyrie. <laughs> Terror of Tawashi. Uh, 
she's making soul tea. She's a soul steeper. There's a normal Renata. Ayara. Ooh, Azuri Claw Progress. Okay. Um, that's a mythic. We'll take it. It's only mythic number two. So much like the first box, the this box here is uh, a little light on mythics on the right side. So it is what it is. We'll get there eventually. I'm never going to lie to you and tell you that I'm going to be a pro at opening these because the only way to be a pro would be to just Joey Mossum with a goddamn axe at this point, I think. So we'll just struggle and you can laugh as we go. And if I dent and ruin a serialized card, we can all have a giggle. Dusk Legion Duelist, Pack Foil. Not a bad card. Ooh, there's a Tali, Primal Conqueror. Um, showcase. We get a Guardian Scale Lord, big old dragon with backup. Whenever it attacks, return non land permanent with mana value, extra lesson or graveyard where it X's its creature's power. Damn. Okay. That seems pretty good. Valduk. Inga. Yargle. And Saison. Perverter of Truth. That's cool. All right. With an incubator token onto the left side. We all know it's the left side, best side, even though we already hit the serialized. Yep, you gotta just. Seems like the, the trick for these is just pinching that corner. Uh, I got that from Kraken Packs, Matt. Uh, ooh, see, but look at that. I bent the living shit out of that pack, though. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, Watson, you gotta fix that garbage. I know what their fix will be. Just open it with scissors. Which, uh, honestly, for the rest of this case, I might do. Because um, I tried to make, a, tried to make a, a, a thing about not saying anything, but then I fucked the pack up so bad we had to say something. C-double. Deep Root Wayfinder. This card seems like it's pretty decent. Um, Volpine Harvester. Also seems like it's pretty decent, and I like the whole Phyrexian Fox thing. That's dope. Uh, we got a Furia... Tetsuko Umazawa, Bloated Processor, okay, and a Hirobi Death's Whale. Uh, I said left side, best side. I think I might have just been kidding. Just kidding. There we go. That one came decently. And that's what she said. Step mom, no. All right. Uh, Atraxis Fall by proxy. I said I was going to do it. I think this is the worst fucking card ever made. I hate that they did her so dirty and put the art on a card. Uh, I'm just not a fan of some mobster fucking skeleton crew that does structural building work, bringing down one of the worst, most feared, or not the worst, one of the most feared creatures in the entire universe of magic. So I'm just going to start doing this from now on. I don't give a shit if people don't like it. That card makes me angry. I like Atraxa, and they did her fucking dirty. She dropped a building on a fucking angel that could have flown away. You, you, you're telling me she couldn't fly away. Bullshit. Monastery Mentor. Mythic number three. City on Fire. I'm hearing that this is better than um, Fire Emancipation. So make of that what you will. Uh, Bright Palm. Soul Awakener. Oh, that's a, that's a Mythic. Sorry, guys. Mythic number four there. Tetsuko. Yargle. Ooh, Galta and Maverin in the foil showcase version. And then a Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Not Halo foil, but it still looks pretty cool. And a token. Four more packs. Eventually, I'll be decent enough to open these uh, within like a 10-minute time frame, maybe. But today is not that day. Today is the day where we, we harm the packs. And, oh, okay, we're going to make crumble packs, too. Apparently. Allegedly. Allegedly. Here we go. Phyrexian Archivist with a moment of truth. The moment of truth in the last four packs. Uh, a Plains with some weird... I didn't do that, but there's some weird denty. A little denty going on right there in the Plains. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's like right there. A little denty. Anyway, uh, Invasion of Tarkir, that's a mythic. 
flips into the old Defiant Thunder Maw on the back there. That's cool. I heard Invasion of Ikoria is expensive. Is that true? Linvala. Linvala. Where do you go? Over here, I guess. Uh, Chivalric Alliance. Between some giant dragon and a knight. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, draw a card. Two and discard a card. Oh, that must be from, for sure, must be from the, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, commander deck? <laughs> yeah, the, I don't know. What it's, it's the knight one. So it's just called Knight's Charge. I don't know. Emoti? We got something super shiny in the back here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be one of those borderless Ikoria things. Rayav. We got the old Arch Priest of Shadows. And then this super shiny thing in the back here. Ooh, Halo Foil Elish Norn. What the f... Okay, was not expecting that. Wow, that looks really dope. That's like a different oil slick almost. Wow. That looks super dope. Let's put that in a sleeve. Holy crap. I thought that was going to be an Ikoria card. Those Halo foils really stick out, man. I'll tell you what. That is dope. Oh, I cut my thumb. <laughs> I cut my thumb on a card. <laughs> That's funny as hell. All right. Well, this is uh, rated R for violence and blood and gore now. <laughs> I didn't even feel it. That's crazy. I cut my thumb. Well, that'll be on the videos now. Because I'm going to record a couple of them in the same day. So it's going to be... <laughs> it'll be there. Get used to it. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Ugh. All right. Uh, we got an island. That Elish Norm was dope. She required a blood sacrifice. Uh, Baral and Carol. Or Carrie. Sorry. Carol. Carol. Glistening Dawn. Essence of Orthodoxy. Quende, I think. Queened? I don't know how to say it. Uh, this, I think, is a Halo Foil Rayav. Slightly different. This this looks more like the treasure things to me, or treasure, the masterpiece to me than the other one. Um, I think we have a Rayav in here. Hold on, let's do that real quick. I know this is it's gonna take forever, but we have a Rayav, so let's take a look. Yeah. Because I think there is a slight difference, and if I didn't have the two right next to each other, I don't think that I would notice. Uh, yeah, only because I pulled one. Can you tell? Can you guys see the difference here? Does the camera pick it up? Because they look almost the same. The only way I can tell is up here in the text box. Like right off the bat. I don't know if the camera picks it up. We've spent enough time on that. It's a goddamn common. Or uncommon, excuse me. It's an uncommon. All right, so we have a Elspeth's Talent. Nobody cares. Where do you go? You go here. And a, ooh, Grimgrin, Corpseborn. That's cool. Wicked Art. That guy's a pain in the ass, I'll tell you what. That's a, that's a mythic. He's a pain in the ass to play back in the day. Oh, yeah, I grabbed a couple extra tokens. Yeah, this this pack had four tokens, you guys. Uh, I am lost. It's It's been a day. Oh, it's only Wednesday, and I'm lost in the sauce. Can't open packs, paper cutting myself. What are you going to do? How about we open another serialized card or some crazy Halo Mythic foil? <laughs> and that's not even how you say it. It's Halo Foil Mythic, but I'm that fucked up. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm off today. I'm off. I have to regroup. I have to go give myself a 420 attitude adjustment and come back. Uh, Itali Primal Conqueror. Flip it into Itali Primal Sickness. I love that card. It's so good. Regular Itali is already good. Rona. Um, but that card is really good. I think this is... Yeah, wow. Holy crap. Uh, we got Conclave Sledge Captain. This is gross. Back up one, back up one, back up one. Trample. And whenever this deals combat damage to a player, put that many uh, counters on it. This seems like it could get out of hand so crazily, and I'm gonna put it in Animar. I think I just every every time I see a good ETB creature, I'm like Animar, uh, and they can't go. They can't all go in there. It's just not possible. I gotta set this off to the side so I know it's a Halo foil. Uh, Zada, 
Ooh. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh. oh, yes. The sword of once and future in extended art foil. I'm actually super excited to see that. I think this card's sneaky good. I know that not a lot of people are doing the surveil thing, but um, I read this card as uh, tutors galore. It's just instant or sorcery, mana value two or less, rituals, all kinds of shit. I think this is a better card than people are giving it credit for. And then we get a non-Halo Obosh, the Prey Piercer. And you can definitely tell that those ones look different. Just so you can see the difference here. You guys think the Halo foil is all that? I think it's dope, but I kind of feel like they, uh, I don't know, it kind of seems like they're kind of, is it sports or is it Pokemon? It seems to me like some of that's, some. it's got some Pokemon in it. I don't know. Uh, last pack of the box. Wow. Is that is that it? Uh, 22 minutes. Yeah, we're going to have to do another box and do it a lot quicker. But we'll have to learn how to open these packs better. Like I said, I might switch to using scissors just for this particular product. Um, I don't know. So I don't want to keep doing that, you know. The odds of me actually screwing up a, a good serialized or mythic are pretty slim because there's a token in the back and, and a common in the front, but still, it's a, it's a risk. So um, yeah, and we got uh, we got one one pack left. My dog's gonna start barking here. Someone's here, so we're gonna wrap this up. Got a Rowan's talent. We got Renata, and we got uh, Quende. Then we got a Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree. That's absolutely sick to see. Love it. And Ayara rounding out the box. That'll do it. Uh, serialized Renata, the freaking Foil Extended Art Mythic Sword, the Grim Gran. Um, this was a, what, eight Mythic box, I think? So, still dope. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm hoping that we can get another, another Serialized out of this. That'd be dope. But hey, I'm not mad at the Elish Norn and the Sword, or the Realm Breaker for that matter. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This was another long-winded, weird video, but uh, you know, I give you them as they come, good or bad. So see you guys on the next one. <laughs>